Did Doja Cat just expose herself for following the Illuminati? We all know how Doja has been trending on social media for months now, with many accusing her for selling her soul and being a part of the Illuminati. Now, celebs getting accused of such things is nothing new, but it looks like this time around, fans think there might be some truth to these wild conspiracy theories about Doja because she has taken things way too far. This drama is wild because Doja is not exactly denying the rumors and you're not going to believe the crazy stunt she just pulled. Uh, did she really just admit to being a Satanist as well? Doja Cat has joined the very long list of Hollywood celebrities who have been accused of being Satanists or selling their souls to the Illuminati and worshiping them in exchange for fame and wealth. I mean, at this point, are you even a big name in Hollywood if you haven't been accused of being in the Illuminati? Every big artist has sparked Illuminati conspiracy theories, and I'm talking big names like Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye West, and even Barack Obama. Doja first sparked Illuminati rumors last year when she shaved off her head. At the time, a lot of people were worried about her mental health and wondering if she was going through some things that she didn't want to make public. But most people were convinced that it was some type of humiliation ritual that she had to go through in order for her initiation to the Illuminati to be complete. For those of you who don't know what a humiliation ritual is, it basically means that the person must go through a very public humiliation or embarrassment as the last step in their Illuminati initiation. For example, Will Smith's very embarrassing goof at the Oscars when he smacked the living daylights out of Chris Rock is believed to be his humiliation ritual, especially because he won his first Oscar after that mess. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, he did get banned from the Oscars after that, but he did win an Oscar for the first time in his career. So yeah, a humiliation ritual has to be something messy and juicy enough to get people talking about you in a bad or negative way. And this is something the Hollywood blacklist like Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams has been saying for years. Remember when Kevin Hart appeared on SNL wearing a dress before making it big? Now y'all need to remember that Kevin previously said he would never wear a dress because he needs to protect his brand. You have to have boundaries, you have to have limits that you refuse to cross. You gotta know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When Kat was asked to comment on this situation, he explained that the whole thing is much bigger than Kevin Hart because Kevin wasn't the first or last black actor who wore a dress before going big in Hollywood. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking old poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. Anyways, back to Doja. So when Doja first shaved her head and brows, many thought this was a ritual because it certainly had that effect because she had people talking about her for weeks. She eventually had to address the rumors head on when she went live on Instagram and she had heavy words for people who were accusing her of being satanic. No, this is not a humiliation ritual. I feel sexy as I'm cute. I'm a cute bitch. And that's me expressing myself. You think that's the devil? Then you can go back to your little cave. You sound like a hateful person. Go yourself one thing i love about doja is that she's always going to say what she has to say no matter what and she's not the type to let people tell her what to do or how to do it but then i didn't expect her to come out and admit that she's in the illuminati because it's a secret cult and members don't just go ahead and admit that they're in the cult i mean conspiracy theorists believe that the illuminati killed michael jackson because he was going to expose them i'm not saying i believe but i'm also not saying that i don't believe what i am saying is that even if any celeb is in the illuminati they are not going to come out and accept it. Anyways, that was not the last time that Doja sparked rumors of being satanic or in the Illuminati because her entire vibe kind of switched after that. She claimed that she was just expressing herself and hey, everybody is entitled to express themselves how they want to. But the rule is kind of different when you're a celeb because you're always going to have the people talking and that's exactly what's been happening to Doja. She also sparked rumors of being a satanist at the Scaparelli show at Paris Fashion Week where she was covered from head to toe in 30,000 red crystals. 
child, it was a crazy time to be on social media because she had the girlies talking about her outfit for weeks after the show. Some people believe that she ate and left no crumbs because she served a major look. But then a whole lot of people were not here for her look because they felt like she was mimicking the devil, especially because of the red color of her outfit. It was crazy to watch people try to attack her and praise her at the same time, and I kind of feel like not enough people were talking about the fact that she had to sit in place while 30,000 pieces of crystals were glued to her one after the other. Talk about commitment. Now, if there's one thing that we know about Doja, it's that she likes to troll people and make fun of them, and that's exactly what she's been doing since people started calling her satanic and saying that she's in the Illuminati. She decided to take things up a notch by actually serving Illuminati vibes, and she kind of did did just that with this photo shoot that got people talking once again. It was so extreme that even the shave room did a post and delete and then they uploaded this post that said I will never be ashamed of my faith. Child do you know how crazy it is that she got the shave room so shaken that they had to delete the post? Because if you know them you'll know that they don't be deleting nothing so Doja had them shaken up real bad. She also got cooked in the comments because people were all up in their feelings about her photo shoot. Doja being Doja found that backlash funny and tweeted this Illuminati ish is so funny to me I'm going to keep doing deliberate weird stuff just to make those people uncomfortable. I for real found a new outlet of joy. She also said playing with people's ignorance and stupidity for my own happiness and personal gain. Now this is where things started to get extra spicy because she changed her profile picture to this and it got people dragging her once again. Then someone said get the Illuminati symbol as a tattoo next and Doja replied dude I will just watch me. Well a couple of days ago she officially debuted a new tattoo and people immediately started calling her out for being demonic, a satanist, being in the illuminati and all sorts of stuff. It was M-E-S-S-Y. She got dragged to new heights and she eventually had to explain that it wasn't satanic posting a couple of explanatory pictures with the caption, your fear is not my problem. One of the slides explained the tattoo saying, images from the 1665 edition of Fortunio Lissetti's De Monstris originally published without the illustrations in 1616. Unlike many of his contemporaries, Lissetti did not see deformity as something negative as the result of errors or failures in the course of nature. Instead, he likened nature to an artist who, faced with some imperfection in the materials to be shaped, ingenuously creates another form still more more admirable. So she's claiming that the tattoo was celebrating imperfection instead of the Illuminati, but people still don't believe her and they said stuff like, someone said they had to kick Black China out the Illuminati to make space for Doja Cat. Sam Smith, Lil Nas X, Doja Cat, and Lil Uzi Vert love to troll religious people by wearing satanic symbols and dressing like the devil, but there's nothing trendy or funny about it. It's attention seeking and weird. Even if they're atheists or agnostic, Satanism is not a gimmick. And Doja cat stands need to leave because they fave is going into satanic stuff and she about to get a warning from god because she playing too much doja is not the type to let people get her down and she's been clapping back at people saying if you're calling me demonic honestly work because like i love that you ate for real and satan said thanks for all the buzz it's clear that nobody is ever going to outro doja because she has way too much fun being a troll but i do have to say the change in doja has been pretty weird i mean i am all here for it because she does look super dope but at the end of the day the change is pretty wild but the thing is we have been seeing this kind of imagery a lot recently with newer artists Lil Nas X twerking on the Satan Sam Smith's devil Grammy performance and now Doja I don't know if it's an Illuminati or Satanism or just creativity but it's wild so I'll just leave it at that but do you guys really think that Doja worships the Illuminati or are people reading way too much into her actions let me know what your thoughts are and then check out the chaos in this next video video.